This tutorial will show you how to add a new blog post to your website using the Divi Builder. First, log in to WordPress. Once logged into WordPress, navigate to the left-hand navigation menu. You'll see a Posts section. Under Posts the fly on, and the flyout menu that appears, select Add New. Once you select Add New, you'll be prompted with the option to use the Divi Builder. Go ahead and select Use Divi Builder. Once you select to use the Divi Builder, you'll be presented with three options for how to move forward. You want to select Clone Existing Page, the option on the right side. Select Choose Page. What you'll be doing is cloning an existing blog post that's already on the website. So at this point, we'll want to go make sure that you're choosing a blog post that you like the appearance of. So navigate to your blog and look at some recent blog posts to find one that has the layout that you want to move forward with. We want to choose a consistent layout, so once you pick one, keep using it. Here's the blog post that we'll go ahead and replicate. This blog post has a title that all of autofills at the top, the date autofills based on when it's published, this image is the featured image, which I will show you how to load, and it auto pulls in. And then here is all of the content that you can change out for every single blog post. Now, we are going to go ahead and replicate this blog post as our template moving forward. So, now that we've picked one to use, navigate back to the library where you're choosing to clone an existing page or post. So, in order to more easily find the post you want to use, it helps under categories to select the post filter, which shows you only your blog posts. As long as you keep the, the same layout every time, you can always just select the most recent blog post. Since we looked over the claims process blog post and decided that's the layout we want to run with, we'll go ahead and select claims process. Now Divi will build an exact replica of the claims process blog post and you can revise it as needed. When you first load the, the template, you're now in the Divi Visual Builder, and you can interact with it just like you're used to um, from your other Divi Builder trainings. However, there's a few things that you'll need to fill out for it to look correct. First, navigate to the bottom and select on the purple gear, which is your page settings. Under your page settings, you'll need to fill out a new blog post title. I also suggest filling out a short description, which is the excerpt. If you want to shortcut this piece, a great way to do it is to just select the first three to four lines of your blog post and dump them in. Or a short description. Next, scroll down and you want to select a featured image. As a reminder, the featured image pulls in automatically in two places. First, it will pull in in this blank white spot, which is right here. Next, it will also pull in in your blog feed right here. So go ahead and upload a featured image. I'm just going to select one for purposes of the example. Next, navigate to the categories section. If you have built out categories, make sure you only select them. If you're not using categories, then you can just leave the default setting. Once you're done, make sure you always, like usual with a Divi Builder, Hit the green checkbox to save your changes. Next, you'll want to change out your content for the content of your new blog post. So, you want to hover over the content section you want to change, select the gearbox, and remember, on the Divi Builder, you have the text option or the visual option. Now, we always have the text option set up by default because we're developers, so we like to use the code. However, you'll probably want to use the Visual Builder. So go ahead and select the Visual tab if it's not selected by default. Then you can change out all of the content to fit the content for your new blog post. You can highlight and delete it all, and then just start rewriting. You want to do the same thing on this section down here. Go into the gearbox, and then delete out and put in all of the new content. We recommend drafting your blog posts in something like Microsoft Word or Google Docs and then just putting them in here once they're drafted. Once you're done filling in all of the content, adding a title and a category, then 
Your next step is to save a draft of your blog post. If you're not ready for it to go live yet, you can save a draft and come back to it later. If you are ready to push it live, you can go ahead and hit publish. However, I recommend first previewing your blog post before pushing it live. To preview your blog post, first exit the Visual Builder. Then select Edit Post. Unfortunately, the preview option is not built into Divi Builder, so it's not very user friendly. It takes a couple of clicks to get back to this preview button, but this is what you're trying to get to. Hit the preview button, preview in new tab. This will generate a preview of what your blog post will look like when it goes live. That way, before you hit the publish button that pushes it live, you can check it out and make sure it looks exactly how you want it to. All right, looks great. Once you're confident that it looks great, Navigate back to where you're in the editor, which is where you hit the preview button, and you can hit the blue publish button. When you hit the blue publish button, you are then pushing your website uh, blog post live for everyone to see. And that's it.